My name is Art Graves. I uh, live here in Plattsburgh. I purchased the bookstore in, uh, I believe it was 2012. I did buy it as a bookstore. Started the prior owners, um, started it in 1975. So it's been here for over 40 years. Um, I kind of had always hoped to own a bookshop. Yeah, I've always been a book lover. Um, and uh, so I, when I saw it was an actual bookstore for sale, that's, that was sort of what my dream was. And, uh, I like the bookstore because with the advent of the internet, um, it seems like everything is read on a screen or it's instantly accessible and I still like going to places where I can touch and feel and search for the information and, and work for it a little. It's, it's a perfect spot for Plattsburgh. It's right in the middle of downtown. We've got the park here so when we have uh, festivals, 4th of July or Battle of Plattsburgh, um, Mayor's Cup, uh, there's people gather here and the parades here and fireworks and uh, um, so it's actually a really nice spot right here downtown. It's pretty important to have a, a bookstore in a community so and, and we were it at the time. And, and so. um, I think that it still feels like a community bookstore. Um, they're not serving lattes here. Um, it, they have used books. It smells like a bookstore used to smell. Uh, it smells like paper. I don't know. I, I just, it's familiar. There feeling. are roughly, we've d tried to do counts at times, but uh, I'd say roughly 80,000. There's three floors. There's an upstairs down here, and then there's a uh, basement as well. So, uh, we're a general used bookstore, so uh, um, pretty much everything fiction, nonfiction. Um, antiquarian old stuff. Uh, that's one of the nice things about having a lot of space is that we can hold a large inventory so uh, so sometimes you can come in and look for that weird strange book you remember as a kid and, and we have it here on the show. You know in the in the digital economy a lot of bookstores are failing and I think we're really lucky that Plattsburgh still has a locally owned bookstore. It's rare these days and we should support it and keep it going. What we do up front here we do some book signings and uh, uh, mostly local authors. Yeah. We like to have anything that, that, that someone local or local interest, we like to have that on the shelves. We, we take the books we can use and we either give store credit or, uh, or cash if people prefer that. Get a little better value with store credit um, if you plan on coming back. We just like to have an open environment. You know, we, when people come in, kind of let them be. We're here to help if, uh, if they need help finding something. But it's a downtown art project. Um, Amy Guglielmo uh, started that, and uh, um, they're doing art. Ours was inspired by, we have postcards over here that my daughter um, had done when she was little, and uh, um, the artist that helped plan this uh, was kind of inspired by that to, to put this on. And this is supposed to liven up downtown and, and support the arts as well. A lot of times the feel that people had coming in 30 years ago, you know, when they were kids, they still have that same feel now. And we kind of like that. Still our trade cards are all written by hand on, on three by five cards. And we've resisted using the computer for that <laughs> because people like to see their name handwritten and crossed off values. And, um, but yes, any new authors that, um, especially lo uh, local authors we like to have in. And, and uh, so we like to have them represented on the shelves, but we like kind of that old school feel. So. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.